With Gemini 3, in just a few minutes, I basically created my own football game, my own high quality uh, landing page for a coffee shop, fancy crypto lending dashboard, my own video editing software that actually works as well, my own website where you can listen to any radio station across the world, you just have to move around this 3D globe, an app where you basically upload a picture of your app and you can check different uh, themes to see what colors would suit your app best. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do all of that. So step number one is obviously use Gemini 3.0 and I've linked it down below. This is the most powerful AI model in the world at the moment. And when you come to it, just make sure on the model here, it actually says Gemini 3 Pro. That's the best one to use. On the right hand side, you've also got the older models as well. And here, basically, you describe your idea for an app. Uh, you just have to be creative now. You don't need to be a dev, you don't need to be a software designer, don't need to be a graphic designer, don't need to be a marketing consultant. That's all done now, gone. It is really over now. So start with the game, very, very easy. I've just said, Gemini, create a football game. Use this image as a reference. Don't forget to include all copyrights. And this was the picture, the, the most popular uh, football game at the moment on PS5. And that's it, just uploaded it and asked it to create. Obviously we can iterate from here, but the amazing thing is this is, this is all working in terms of um, setting up the power and uh, trying to take a shot. Here, all, all of this penalty shootout game is fully working and I haven't even tried to iterate or improve it at all yet. It's just basic at the moment. The other cool thing with Google AI Studio and Gemini 3 is if you find any video um, or any cool website, you can take a screenshot or a video of it, of the whole website, and then you can upload it onto here. So you can upload any file, image, video, etc., and you can ask it to make that website. So first of all, what you need to do is just find out the exact prompt. I asked Gemini uh, 3, give me the prompt for this website. Give me a few different options. And then this, you just copy and paste into a new tab and it will create it. And here's an example. This is a live preview of this same website. So you can see it's eerily similar to the original website. The original website was obviously quite interactive. Now, what's the limitation with websites and what's a better way to do it? I asked it, give me a landing page for a coffee shop include really cool animations, like coffee actively brewing and stuff like that. Like very, very advanced, like things people will pay thousands and thousands of dollars to actually make in real life, even though this is obviously real life now. And this is what it came up with. And it's decent, it's nice, it's clean, but still kind of bland. Like you wouldn't look at this and think, oh, they've spent thousands on this. But a little hack here is to use existing apps, which a lot of you might already be aware of, and make sure it's using Gemini as its uh, model for the creation. Replay I've been using for quite a while now, uh, I think over a year. Uh, when they first started, it was, it was decent. But now, at the stage where they're at, it's a very, very good app to use. So with Replay, you can use uh, Gemini. And here, all I asked for was a landing page of a coffee shop, nothing fancy. And then from there, I iterated a little bit more, add some cool animation like the live coffee brewing. And the final result here, you can see, I'm just gonna zoom out here. It's actually pretty good. Here. So if I hover over these images, you can see there a little bit of smoke. What I was trying to get it to do is to make the ice bubble as well in this cup. I'm sure playing around with prompts will be able to do that. And another trick is when you're adding the prompts here, ask something like Gemini or ChatGPT, what prompt shall I give Replit to make it make this a smoke feel uh, real. So again, using AI to leverage AI. By the way, I'm just gonna pause that for a second. If you're enjoying the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm gonna do many, many more of these and try and share with you some of the best tips and tricks when it comes to using AI. But none of these boring, no code, long automations where you have to learn all of this other stuff, which you probably won't need to do just now because clearly Google are showing you is creating apps within seconds. So why waste weeks and months learning all of this old stuff when you don't need to. Next, you can um, prepare these same prompts as I mentioned before, like ChatGPT. I asked it for a kind of futuristic crypto dashboard and this is one of the prompts it came up with. And this prompt, I ran it and it's created quite a cool looking uh, dashboard here. Again, some of the outcomes is only really as good as the prompt and as good as the work you do now in terms of uh, prompting further and improving things on that particular, for example, website page or making sure all of the different tabs show exactly what you want it to show. But with all of these, it's very, very easy at the top here to download the entire app. So you could download it into a zip file, upload it to your hosting, or you could host it where it says here, deploy, you could actually host it on Google's own uh, cloud as well. Next one, this is a really cool one. I've, I was shocked when I created this, that it actually worked. I said, design a cup cut. 
So what's CapCut for those of you not aware? It's a it's an editor. So this is the actual CapCut website. So you can upload any video here and you can do the usual things like add captions, you can chop the video, cut it, add loads of other animations, stuff like that. And then you can upload it to things like TikTok, Instagram. CapCut is used by millions of people across the world to make short form content. I said design a CapCut, it must be fully functional, ready to edit short form videos. And I think with this one, I've not even iterated and it took 69 seconds. And I uploaded this video, it was that random video of a website I had before. And you can see here, I can start adding, literally start adding text to it uh, on the top. So this is fully, fully working uh, as, as an editor, which is, it's just incredible. I can't believe we're at that point here where we could just recreate apps in, in minutes like this. Now, obviously with a lot more work, um, you could add functionality to this. But the main thing is you're prompting back and forth the costs of this are gonna be way, way lower than actually, again, doing this the old fashioned way. Like who knows CapCut, how many thousands or even millions they've spent developing this over the years to get, get it to where it's at at the moment. And you could just literally swipe and copy and paste it basically without a thought. Next one is really cool, uh, another tip. Add um, amounts <laughs> in terms of, I know it sounds silly, but in terms of how much you think it should generate or how much it's worth would be that particular app that you're creating. So I've, uh, I've said it, generate a million dollar AI trading platform. Uh, SaaS front end, don't use Tailwind, uh, CSS, give me a code preview. And it's created this. Actually looking through it, it does look pretty good. And I noticed when I was playing around with it, I tried to create this without putting the million <laughs> dollar in it. And when I added that figure, for some reason it was making better output. Next one, I, re I really like this one. So this is, um, I've asked it, create an app that will rapidly preview different color schemes and theme variations. So when I tap on any option, it should instantly apply that style. When I had this idea, I asked ChatGPT again to give me the exact prompt because you want AI to prompt. It will prompt, AI will prompt AI better basically. So when I did it this way, uh, with this particular prompt, it seemed to give a better outcome. And in this, how it works is you click here on new image, upload your image here, and it's all working. So I uploaded an image from my desktop, which is this. So I pretended this was my app page. It's basically just a page of Telegram. And here, if you click on any other color, like let's click on forest core, and then the style uh, behind the app screen uh, changes. And we can customize this further. We can iterate again. Uh, you can make it all just colors, all just themes, however you want. But what a, a cool uh, feature uh, app that you could create to help people who are designing their own apps and they wanna see which which kind of color uh, suits it best, suits their design best. I'm sure you can see already with some of these examples I'm sharing, how much value you could add to many, many different businesses, uh, whether it be consumers or, or business, so B2B or B2C. Okay, next one, and this is insane as well. This is Radio Garden. This is a website where you can listen. It's got a 3D globe like this and you can listen to basically any radio station across the world. It's really cool. Like you just click on any of the green dots and it will start playing. So I, again, tried to just copy this and I basically said, create a web app, the style of Radio Garden website. I've made it a very general prompt for now, but obviously you can go into way more detail to make it work better. Um, allows users to explore and listen to live radio stations worldwide via an interactive 3D globe. And I've got the globe there. Look, it's completely interactive. And then I don't know if these, um, I, don't, I don't even think I've tested it with these dots. So I'm looking around, let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit more. So I can see the dots, I'm clicking on them. And yeah, it's actually shocked. <laughs> this is a ra random radio station, Radio Zurich in, I assume Zurich in Switzerland, and it works. Like, I, like, if this is not shocking you, uh, I don't know what will when it comes to AI. This is insane. What, where is this gonna take us uh, with AI? Where is it gonna lead? Are we gonna just get millions and millions of copycat apps? And also, I want you to really start thinking about, because I definitely have over these last few months, how can all, all this be uh, monetized? So who are you helping here with these apps? I mean, if we're the, those of you watching me and the other people, you know, are very interested in AI uh, using Gemini 3, and if we're the small percentage of people in the whole world, the 8 billion in the world, and we're just a, maybe 1%, imagine how much, how much further ahead you'll be than everybody else. You can literally create these apps easily and go and help people who don't wanna bother to learn anything about AI, don't have the time, don't have the capacity, don't have the know-how, maybe don't have the slight funds because obviously you need basic subscriptions to some of these AI models. It might cost $10 a month, $20, not a lot, but in many places in the world, that's a lot of money. As I said earlier in the video, the, the key here uh, are the prompts. 
and, and learning them and learning how to improve them and how to iterate some of these apps faster. And what I'm going to do just to share a lot of the prompts I use in this video and in other ones, I've created a community and I'm just going to add them all into there. So you'll see that link below as well in the description. It should be ready in the next day or so. I'm hoping that'll be a great place where we can uh, share some of these uh, kind of new ideas because the thing with the AI is it's moving so fast. You can't just uh, keep messing about with really old tools like NA10 because they're obviously all going to be replaced. I think it's the real key here is how well you are prompting and understanding the areas really where value can be monetized. That's it for this one. Thanks for listening.